Welcome again to the TMC Newsroom. I'm Carl Ford. I'm here with Praveen Bhagwat, who is the co-founder and chief technology officer of Airtight. And for those who are concerned about Airtight as to exactly how Airtight is Airtight, we're going to give you great answers because of the fact that we've gone deep down in the discussion about what it means to do penetration testing and things like that. So fundamentally, uh, Praveen, let's talk about what it is you're focused in on. You're primarily focused on Wi-Fi, right? Yes. So we are a Wi-Fi security company, and we make sure that customers who are using Wi-Fi do it in a secure and safe fashion. Because there are ways Wi-Fi can be easily compromised beyond the imagination of most end users. And interesting thing is that, you know, while IT administrators may not be aware of it, hackers know it very well. How to find those loopholes and then come right in. So we are there to protect all end customers from any vulnerabilities that hackers can potentially exploit and make sure that your use of Wi-Fi is secure and safe. So now we've mentioned the fact that you're already located in several secure government type organizations and we've brought up some various scenarios. So let's talk about some of the basic basic ones first. Sure. First one is um, uh, Wi-Fi is a very crowded space in the marketplace. Now my cable operator is now offering me Wi-Fi in my neighborhood. Yes. I have Wi-Fi in my neighborhood and about three other people do. Right. You're able to make it so that I stay on the channel that I want to be on, right? That's the first goal. Actually more, more than that, I mean, take an example of a typical enterprise environment. Mm -hmm. You've got official Wi-Fi that is deployed by the IT administrator. You've got Wi-Fi which end users are bringing secretly in the building because they want faster access to their, you know, their iPhones, iPads, and so on. And then you've got people with, you know, walking in their tablets and iPhones, and they are all Wi-Fi enabled, and they are looking for access points all the time to latch on to and get onto the internet, go to YouTube, Yahoo, Gmail, and whatever, right? Plus, you are surrounded by Wi-Fi signals coming from your neighbor's building, right? Mm -hmm. So there is a lot of crowding in there. And as a security administrator, you need to worry about, are your users really on your network? Or are they latching on to the neighbor's Wi-Fi and, and escaping all your firewall and ideas, IPS policies? Because it's, after all, an invisible medium, right? Right. So you got to have some security monitoring device which can scan all the channels, see what's going on, who's connecting where, and whether the connections which are in your air, connected to your network, are they really secure and properly configured or not. You can't just rely on the day when you had configured a network and hope that everything is going to be fine and exactly the way you had configured it all throughout. Right. So you need to continuously scan, monitor, and see what's going on and take actions in case if some violations are happening. And, and, and we to, see it happening all the time. Mm -hmm. And to that point, you've mentioned the fact that, that there are even companies that don't allow Wi-Fi on campus may need your product basically to make sure that there is no Wi-Fi on fact, campus. In fact, they are actually the ones to be most concerned about this problem because they have not yet embraced Wi-Fi because they're concerned that its use could be insecure, right? Right. But how are they going to find out if somebody has brought a personal device in and connected to an Ethernet jack underneath their desk? Or somebody has brought this iPhone or, or, an, or an iPad device, uh, which has got both Wi-Fi and 3G connection enabled, and uh, is connected through a rogue AP into your enterprise network and potentially tethering the two sides of the connection, completely bypassing your firewall. So organizations who have a policy that don't allow Wi-Fi must have some kind of a monitor in place to detect that there is no such activity of that sort happening. And, and one thing that you said, which uh, which caught my my CS my my CISSI ear a ear was I I heard the issue of, of false positives on a security audit. So okay. talk to me about those issues and what what you have to worry about in terms of doing the audit, exactly, what people exactly. are looking at. Right. See, the key issue is that wireless is a shared medium, and your network is riding over your channels and your neighbors are also using the same channels, right? So it's a mix of traffic that you're seeing from all, all directions. You cannot raise alarms just because you're seeing a wireless activity. I mean, it could potentially belong to your neighbors, which is completely benign for you. Mm -hmm. You only need to raise an alarm when that activity is in some way directly coupled to your network. So if you have a system which starts spewing up alarms just because it detects an activity, you're going to be seeing a large number of false alarms. You need a raise alarm only when there is a threat which is coupled to your network. 
So it's absolutely important that the detection system that you have in place raise an alarm when there's a real threat and says quiet if it has nothing to do with whatever activity is happening in your network. So fundamentally you're kind of at the application layer while watching the Wi-Fi layer two stuff, right? Uh, yeah, so our monitors are capturing packets at layer two, every packet on all channels, and then they're analyzing whether this traffic stream, is it in some way uh, potentially in violation of your security policies. And Got whenever it. violations are detected, we instantly raise an alarm and have means by which we can automatically block those connections as well. So potentially, you could run the system on a complete autopilot without having to worry about uh, looking at every alarm and analyzing whether it relates to you or not. Just define your policies, turn on the sensors, run the system in autopilot mode, and it will completely uh, autonomously make sure that all wireless vulnerabilities are detected and, and blocked. And I think we kind of do it in a very clever fashion. In fact, we have a lot of uh, cool technology embedded in the product which makes that automation possible. Most other systems out there have not been able to get this level of automation into their products. And that's one of the reasons why most large scale deployments are gravitating towards airtight because they can afford to have a system automatically take care of their wireless vulnerabilities. Okay. Now, by and large, we're talking about enterprise and campus environments and, and some government contract stuff. Just out of curiosity, do you expect to see marketplace opportunities with carriers who are trying to provide wireless internet services at this point with Wi-Fi? Yes. So I would say beyond enterprise and, 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 and high security federal facilities, there are also other market segments which have a very compelling use for this technology. As an example, the PCI uh, retail market. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason is that lately there have been some very high profile breaches that have happened where a large number of credit cards were compromised from, from various retail stores. So there is a pressure to provide Wi-Fi access for consumers at these retail locations. But at the same time, you want to make sure that credit card data is not compromised uh, by any means. So it's a non-enterprise environment, yet it's a large number of distributed sites which need this protection. Okay. Uh, is, is a market segment that we are effectively selling into very, very well. And I would say, you know, any large number of distributed sites that need to be centrally managed, mm -hmm. which is a classic telco MSSP style environment where you need a solution where you can drop ship these sensor devices have them connect to a cloud which is managed by some telco provider. That's the market segment that we are going to see a lot of action in the coming days. And uh, we are ready from a technology standpoint to support that scale and, 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 and the cost, uh, a delivery model that is required to provide a low touch wireless security solution for that market segment. Cool. Well, I, I certainly expect that the Wi-Fi market continues to grow. Oh, absolutely. I so mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing your continued success. Well, hope the same, and thanks for your time. Thank you, Praveen. Bye.